Welcome to VMware NSS Software Defined Networking Series. In the last video, I explained to you about Software Defined Data Center and VMware NSS Network Virtualization. So VMware vSphere is a solution for compute virtualization. In compute virtualization, major elements that we virtualized are memory, storage, and CPU. So when it comes to networking, it is about switching, routing, and network security firewalls. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you, talk to you about why traditional data center security is no longer enough. And by that way, you will be able to understand how NSS is going to replace traditional firewall topologies, security concepts, your traditional switching and routing technologies. Let's start from the traditional network security. Once the security perimeter of your data center was breached, the attacks were able to propagate laterally inside the data center with essentially no security controls in place to stop them. So as a result, sensitive data was gathered undetected in a traditional network. You know, tremendous efforts, resources, investments, technologies are applied to securing the perimeter of the data center. Until recently, nothing resembling that the same level of thought and effort had been dedicated to security inside the data center. So this perimeter-centric thinking and the approach to network security are both profoundly misguided and seriously outdated. Most of the small and medium businesses are run in a data center like this. Here you can see there is only one firewall, only one security device at the perimeter of the data center. And if the security was breached, there is nothing inside to stop the penetration or the propagation. Data can be gathered as long as and as much as they need. And you will come to know only once it's going to be in public or it's misused. Another approach here is, or we can say a matured approach is, logically partition your data center network into different security segments or large firewall zones. The problem with this approach is that the security policies are defined by where a workload is physically deployed in the network topology. When you look at the picture, you can see DMZ is a zone for edge and web services commonly used where your client connect our internet. Then application server zone process uh, the request received through DMZ. So the access between these zones are restricted and monitored through a firewall. And the same is applied for all other zones also in this network topology. The only improvement here is it reduces the attack surface. But once an attack has breached, threats can move throughout a big portion of the data center without any restriction. People also found a large delay when deploying new workloads or changing the existing workloads because they still need to do a lot of manual configurations. If every design is insufficient, then where is the solution? What about attaching a firewall to all workloads? This will help you to protect all endpoints. But think about the cost. Okay, maybe your company is ready to bear the cost. But what about managing all these firewalls? Here it comes the importance of network virtualization. Network virtualization provides you with both of these capabilities. It enables you to maintain effectively the security policies of thousands of individual workloads. It gives you a complete unified enterprise security strategy. And finally, this allows your organization to align your data center security with the ever evolving requirement of modern business. This day, multi-clouds are most accepted infrastructure for most of the large organizations like some of the workloads running at Amazon, some other workloads run at Azure. So the connectivity and uh, unifying the policy of uh, security is difficult. But when it comes to network virtualization, VMware NSS provide a solution. It can meet the requirements of such modern business requirements. So VMware NSS embedding the traditional functions of hardware networking into a hypervisor layer and placing this layer on top of the existing physical infrastructure. By this way, modern data centers can realize high throughput rates as well as a secure east-west traffic between the virtual machines. So this will bring you the capability of isolation, segmentation, as I said, secure east-west traffic in the data center. You can apply appropriate trust and privilege to each virtual machines. 
and also orchestration enables a centralized control and automation of the policies and workloads. I hope you all understood the importance and the advantage of VMware NSS over the traditional uh, security of network topology. So from the next video you will be able to understand uh, how the physical networks are replaced with the logical switching and logical uh, routing, logical firewalls, load balancers and all. So the switch will just act as an IP transport. So we will be discussed in detail in the next video. Thanks for watching this video.